So Samantha, can you tell me what problems you're currently having with your back and your legs? Um, well, I've suffered from sciatica for many years now. Um, it tends to come and go, um, but, but when it comes, it's, it's very painful, and I get spasms and difficulty sleeping. Um, yeah, so, so it's very painful. Does it hinder you? Do anything sitting down, stretching, bending? Yes, it does, yes. And sitting for long periods, and then obviously using the computer as well, it's difficult. And does it cause you any other pain when driving, etc.? Yeah, can't drive. Okay, okay. And how long has this been persistent? For about four years. So Bob, uh, you've just heard what Samantha has with, with, the, with regards to a back problem. What course of action are you going to now pursue? Well, um, what we normally do is to go look for the course of the structure of the spine and basically release any knots and any tension on areas that could be causing, causing the sciatica nerves, nipping this nervous system. So we try to aim to release using massage and the tissues and as well using acupuncture, massaging the points and the to release. So what are you actually doing there, Bob? At this moment, right at the beginning, I'm actually listening, listening to the chi, where the blockage is in the spine where the disturbance and stresses and try and isolate the area to start. I always do this before treatment to see where the area is it's most blocked and release, release it accordingly. I'm tracing the meridians. So now you're adding pressure, is that correct? Yes, and I'm adding pressure now, gradually adding pressure to the area. So this is the area where I'm finding what is blocked. The main sciatic nerve here, the buttocks. And what will the reaction of this be on the body? This technique at the moment will be pretty relaxing. It's more of a warming, gradually warming, getting the blood and chi moving around the tissues. Yeah. If I actually get to the knot, get to okay. the area where the problem is. So you're currently on the sciatic nerve, are you there? Yes, I am. Um, this is one of the areas I can feel the knots in here, the tension on the muscle. Yeah. It's also on a bladder meridian, on a bladder point. Yeah. By discharging the chi in this point here, along the meridian, will also ease the tension on the muscles. Thereby releasing the stress on the nerves. So the shaking you're doing now, what is actually that achieving? It's a different technique to move the chi out of the points right. along the muscle. And these points I'm using, if you go to an acupuncturist, they'll, they'll put a needle through it. So yeah. if you're scared of needle, if you don't like this, then this would be something for you to massage. So the pressure point there is in, in similar to acupuncture? Yeah, they're the same points, yeah. So you actually do acupuncture as well, don't you? Yes, you actually study the actual same point yeah. we would use. But we use, we don't, we don't use the needles. I would normally concentrate on the side that has the main problem, but then she does get twinges both sides. Right. So I'm going to work on this side, so we'll see whether the same problem here, the knots here, to try and release. Yeah. Release the problem. So what is this therapy actually called? Tweena. Tweena. Tweena, tweena massage. Literally means uh, push and pull. Right. The very old form massage is part of the traditional Chinese medicine. And the elbow technique you're currently using? Yes. Is uh, it to get deeper into the tissue. The way she got the knot is in the deep layer of the muscles. Yeah. And the point's quite deep here, so sometimes we use the elbow to get a little bit more depth. Okay. And actually kneading across the muscle as well, so it helps to break it down. So what are you currently doing to the hamstring, Bob? Absolutely help release the channel that runs past 
Well, we're going, we've worked on the bladder channel and the gold bladder channel. Yes. Yeah. Back of the legs. Yeah. She suffered from the, the pain after travel down the legs. Yeah. Time, so we're looking to clear the channel for her and find any knots along this pathway to, to the release. Yeah. So the flow can go back to normal again. Is there any particular pressure point there, or are you just going down the meridian? Yeah, I'm we'll doing what I'm doing now. Running down the meridian. This is the bladder meridian that runs down the back of the legs. Through yeah. The buttocks, through the area where she has a problem, all the way through her back. Right. Through the central nervous system, this, this channel goes through. So this is one, one of the points along the bladder room where stress accumulated, that's why she's very sensitive in this yeah. point. So what I'm doing now is to release the pressure from this point and thereby the muscles will ease off. We'll create a balance back to the flow of the channel. What are you feeling for on the ankle there? This is part of the, an outer ankle, this is part of the bladder meridian here, and the right. other torn is the head yin meridian, the kidney meridian. Right. So working in each one also helps the chi flow along the back of the legs, the calf, the area to the meridian I'm working on. And create a second circuit with the chi to flow. And when you just hold the pressure, what does that achieve? That's causing the chi to move when I'm doing and also projecting chi onto the points of my fingers. Right, from yourself. From myself, yes. When you wipe away, like you just did, what does that achieve? That's drenched some of the chi, that's surface. When right. you work on meridian points, sometimes the blockage or stagnant chi comes to the surface of the body. So when we brush it out, we're actually clearing the energy, energy from the, what we call the external field of the body. Yeah. What is that particular technique you're doing with your hand? This currently? is a technique we call rolling. Rolling is yeah. distinctive to the Twina massage in yeah. China. What it does, it strongly push the, push the chi to move in the body, a particular area that you're working on, gets chi to flow and it invigorates the chi and blood in the body. So, you also have a shoulder problem, Sam? That's right, yes. Does that cause you any immobility in that area? Occasionally, yeah, but it just tends to be a, a sort of constant. Sort of twinging, nagging pain. That's right. Does it go down into the arm or down the back area? Occasionally, but particularly down, occasionally down the arm, but particularly down the back. Okay, so Bob, how are you going to look at uh, remedying this particular problem? Uh, what we're doing normally again, I feel the blockage in the chi that go along the meridian system, and then as I do the massage, that's where I actually isolate where the actual knots are in the back. And aiming to release these knots and clear the channels, We're working on the muscle and as well the meridian energetic system to clear, find a problem and clear. Yeah, straight away, can find there are lots of knots there to ensure it breaks. So once again, was that brushing away the surface chi? Yeah, yes, um, at the moment actually, I'm um, still warming up surface muscle. Yeah. Before I actually get into the deeper muscles, otherwise it'd be too, too painful for it. Yeah. Let's go deep straight away, so I'm actually pressing to ease and get some blood and chi flowing first. So that's loosening the muscle there, is it? Yeah, she is. She's very tense. Mm -hmm. 
this step there's actually no need to take any garments off you can do it through clothing you quite easily it, that's right you can do it through clothing yeah. we all train the hands and then measure measure where the spinal systems are where the muscles are so you can actually feel where where the areas need to go so you don't need to actually see through the skin to measure the area that I need to work on And is there any particular meridian line or pressure point you're yeah. currently on? Yeah, these are along the bladder meridian, these are what we call shoe points that run through the central nerve system. And between the shoulder blades are where a lot of common now people work on with uh, computers. Yes. Where some of the postural muscles are held in the scapula. So the stress held in the tissues here and it creates lots of knots along here and the, and the points get stressed. Yeah. So one of the things I'm doing I actually work on the point get rid of the stress and bring fresh chi here to clear. So when you hold such as you are now, what is that achieving? I'm holding the points, the meridian points, so getting discharging chi so that the fresh chi can run through these points and the meridian again. Right. What I'm holding now is actually a small testing, a small testing meridian. We run around the back of shoulder blades and back of the arms. And when you advise the client to breathe out, why is that? It's to help the chi flow and help the blood circulate yeah. and release the tension. What are you doing there? You're applying that pressure? Yeah, just applying pressure to the points and the muscle as well, giving it a little stretch. Hi, Baba. I uh, just find it really interesting that you know I've been to massage therapists before, and they've sort of glossed over you know the areas of pain. Not even I recognise where the pain originates. You know, and I noticed when you use point of all correction, um, exactly where the pain lies. And I just find that really interesting. Okay. Um, the reason what's different about this type of massage is that is um. We studied traditional Chinese medicine, so we studied the theory of diagnosis, which is the, we're using five elements we put into the body. Five, million, five elements, it is the, we look at your heart and your small intestine has fire, and then you've got your stomach spleen, which is earth, and then you've got your lungs and large intestine, which we call metal, and then kidney and bladder, which is water, and then you've got your liver and gold bladder, which is uh, wood. So the circle, so you've got wood, which uses ash, leads to fire, and then the fire, uh, sorry, the wood feeds the flame to the fire, yeah. and the fire produces ash, which is earth, and then earth, you get minerals, which is metal, and then metal produces water, and it condenses, and then water feeds the trees, so there's a whole cycle. So when we put into the body, we can, when we do the diagnosis, we can see where the cheese is unbalanced within your internal organs. So we try to adjust the yin and yang, the balance within your internal system. With the massa, why I seem to know where the problems are, First is that we have to know where the mapping of the meridian systems are and as well as the musculoskeletal. And then what's different, a lot of different massages, when you go for a massage you actually learn a routine and they stick to the routine. So they lose the intuitive side of finding a problem there, I need to work on this area a bit, bit more. But they have to fill the hours so they do the routine. What I did was actually looking for the cause and the area is actually being affected at the moment so this is why with knowledge of the meridian system and where where you say you tell through the initial consultation where no way problem that actually okay I've got a good idea where to trace where the root of course is. Okay. Is it true as well that the five element system is also based in Qi Gong and Tai Chi, is that correct? That's right, yes. Yes. Based in all Chinese uh, cultural and health systems, the five elements there's all about balance. Having a natural flow.